another edition of Market Marauders. Being the market, one trade at a time. First things first, if you need a Market Marauders, it's an investment channel. Help you to find the best deals in the market. If that's something you're interested in, smash that subscribe button down below. Like, comment, and share. Also down below, I have a Patreon page. Uh, so sign up uh, to join the Patreon community. Uh, we're talking about different stocks. Uh, so it'll be more than just the ones in the video. But uh, just daily because the market changes so often. That's up if you're interested in. Uh, join that community as well. Uh, now jumping into it, I got my top three penny picks for the week. Um, now let's jump into it. So first we got ticker sign BCRX for BioCris Pharmaceuticals Incorporated. Now I've had this one on here previously uh, in the past, uh, but I think it was good to add it again just because uh, they've kind of been on a breakout. Um, for a while um, so their moving average 50 is two dollars and 79 cents moving average 200 is two dollars and 77 cents and they ended the week at four dollars and 70 cents uh, now i believe that you know going back and looking at you know information on the company what they do and uh how they make their money is more important than just you know looking at charts and following patterns so with that being said i think going back and looking at some more information on the company uh is going to be more beneficial so going into um, a press release uh from the company we have this came out on the 9th of april so it's kind of old um it was a month ago, but still, you know, very effective as to what they're actually doing um, in the company. Now, it says they are in trials to release their uh, treatment for people who have Roni. So, they basically are trying to uh, develop a drug to help people uh, with the whole Roni situation. Uh it says it's an investigational, uh, broad-spectrum antiviral drug uh, that was safe and well-tolerated in previous reported Phase One trials in healthy subjects, um, demonstrated broad-spectrum activity in vitro against more than 20 RNA viruses in nine different families, including uh, Roni that causes uh, MERS and SARS. So... Basically, they're trying to develop a drug uh, to help the whole Roni situation. And if you guys have been following, you know, it's it's a pretty um, small group of stocks that are doing that. Um, but all of them, you know, have seen significant growth uh, throughout the following weeks and months um, because of that. And I think the more updates that these companies get, uh, the better off uh their price is going to be so basically the more updates these companies have uh these small ones or even some of the big ones i think the more profitable uh these companies are going to become and that's definitely you know something to see on here their jump their breakout was kind of right around when that article came out and they've been continuously going up uh ever since then so you know to me when i see that the more updates that the company has the higher the stock is going to be so you know I think it's a pretty good entry point, um, you know, to try to get in uh, while before more news comes out about the actual, um, you know, drug that they have before um, it's actually, you know, patented um, and well, not before it's patented, but before it's actually on the market for use. So with that being said, going to my number two stock, uh, we got ticker sign BIOC for Biocept uh, Incorporated. Their moving average 50 is 37 cents. Moving average 200 is 56 cents, and they ended the week at 41 cents. So they're in between their moving average 50 and moving average uh, 200, closer to their moving average 50 than their moving average 200. Uh, and they've had a lot of fluctuation. Um, as time has gone on, if you can see, uh, had a massive breakout in March, it kind of died down. They had another massive breakout in April, and it kind of died down. Uh, so let's go back into some uh, more information on the company and what they're doing. Uh, so this is from April as well uh, to Biocept to begin uh, Roni testing. This is the company to provide FDA approved uh, for EUA testing. Uh, in its San Diego lab to assist uh, physician clients and flight assistants uh, 
in the whole Rony pandemic situation. So they're basically helping to provide testing, uh, which I think, you know, will be a lot profitable uh, for them um, and, you know, helping the fight the Rony situation. On the bottom, it says uh, BOSEP has partnered uh, with the National Clinician Network to accept patient samples uh, and may obtain additional agreements uh, as test, ca test capacity is increased. Um, BOSEP operates a high complex uh, CLIA certified, CPA asserted, and BLS, BSL2 safety level laboratory in San Diego. Uh, with specialized licensed molecular lab staff have uh, been clearly trained to perform uh, RONI testing. Uh, the lab will be using FDA-approved uh, EUA, which stands for Emergency Use Authorization uh, Testing, uh, Thermo Fisher's Scientific uh, TAC Path Molecular Diagnostic Platform Kit. So basically, they're going to be using the Thermo Fisher Kit um, to help with testing, but they're using their facilities uh, to do that. So a lot of uh, companies basically that had the the facilities and the people to do testing began doing testing. So that's one thing uh, in the positive. And I think, you know, it, it's definitely helped, um, you know, as time has gone on since we're, we're in May now, um, as time has gone on, you know, it definitely has helped to get more tests out there. So I think, you know, I expect the company to bounce back, um, from where they're at to go back, uh, but they definitely will have to test this 56 cent, uh, moving average 20, uh, I mean, moving average 200, uh, line again. And I think, you know, the closer it gets to that, um, you know, the better opportunity it will have to break out. So, you know, just one of the ones to keep an eye out for, um, to see how they're doing in the future. Uh, more press releases from them, I think, will yield to be uh, better for more information. Uh, now, jumping into our number three stock for the week, we got ticker sign AIM for AIM Immunotech Incorporated. Their moving average 50 is $2.44. Moving average 200 is $1.40. They ended the week at two fifteen. Uh, so right in between their moving average 50 and moving average 200. Now, going back to some press release uh, from them, this is also from April. Um, it says Immunotech and Shin, Shinzen uh, Smore Technology announced the agreement uh, research uh, utilizing an innovative uh, Smore relation delivery device uh, as potential ease to use treatment approach uh, for the Roni situation. Um, so they're basically partnering with the company to help find, um, a drug to help, uh, with the running situation. So, so I was just going over and reading it just a little bit, uh, to help with the running situation. So, you know, also another company in that real niche market, um, and definitely one uh, to keep your eyes out on for. Um, and they've kind of, you know, it seems like they have they were pretty successful in breaking the moving average 200 and staying above the moving average 50. But, you know, they kind of went down below it, uh, but they, they still haven't fallen uh, too far below. So I think you're definitely one to keep your eyes out for um, because just like the other ones, uh, any company to me that's that's in this this real niche market um, definitely is just one press release away from another breakout. And you know, as a retail penny trader, um, that's just something you look for uh, volatility of stocks. But you also want to see uh, positive movement and breakouts because that's how you make your money essentially. So when the company breaks out, you know, you can lock in those profits um, as a penny trader. So. Thank you all for staying until the end of the video. Um, I have a bonus number four stock, which is what I do every week. Um, so let's jump into it.
So the bonus one is ticker sign AMPE for Ampia Pharmaceuticals Incorporated. Their moving average 50 is 52 cents. Moving average 251 cents. Uh, and they ended the week at 62 cents. So they're above their moving average 50 and moving average 200. Uh, it's kind of been a roller coaster ride for this stock. Uh, they've gone up, they've gone down. Uh, and they've kind of, you know, oscillated around their moving average 50 and moving average 200. Uh, but, you know, kind of recently have, have stayed above the, both of those metrics. Um, so they're currently at 62 cents. Uh, so let's jump into some more uh, information on them. Now, going looking at uh, this press release this is also from April as well. And we say, why do you have all these press releases from April? Uh, because that's, you know, the most important ones. Um, you know, you can go online and look at all their press releases, their newest ones, uh, but they don't really explain. Uh, they're just updates on, you know, when they're having meetings or stuff like that. But this is actually, you know, what the company is producing. So I think these are, you know, very important um, as to the whole momentum of the company. Uh, because when, you know, things like these come out, uh, you definitely see the stock shoot up uh, quite a bit. So it says... Uh, um, MPO Pharmaceuticals application of FDA for clinical study of Ampion to treat RONI, um, acute respiratory distress syndrome uh, featured in uh, Fox News video. So basically they're trying to treat uh, the symptoms of RONI. So I think, you know, they're kind of as well as the other ones in this niche market. Um, and I think, you know, it will yield pretty profitable for them uh, in the long term, uh, the research that they're doing, as well as, you know, creating something, uh, you know, that the FDA will approve. So if the FDA does approve it, um, then, you know, it could be something that's widely used and it can help a lot of people. So, you know, not only will it make the company money, it will also help a lot of people. And that's, to me, one of the most important things uh, out of, you know, all these pharmaceutical companies is that they're making devices, tests, and treatments to help, uh, you know, a lot of people out there. So, you know, try not to look at it as just, a, you know, a money grab. But, oh, you know, this company's making something, so they make a lot of money. Uh, and they're just interested in for for the money. You know, there, there are actually some people, you know, that probably work for these companies that uh, really genuinely want to help fight off this whole roadie situation because it's not just affecting, uh, you know, people overseas or in other countries. It's, it's really affecting everybody. Uh, so, you know, the more companies that I see that, that can help in this situation, to me, uh, the better off uh, the world will be in finding uh, a a cure as well as treatment options uh, to help people who are directly affected. So that's been the end of the video. Make sure you smash the subscribe button down below, like, comment, share, uh, check out that Patreon page. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.